In the summer of 1981, Cesar Galpo and Ernest Santiago led several of Manila's top designers to a lunch meeting in Tagaytay. Hosted by Elite Garments, the agenda was to form a designer group after several attempts in the past had failed. Succeeding sessions with more designers paved the way towards consolidating themselves into what is now known as the Fashion Designers Association of the Philippines, or the FDAP. July 1982 saw the formal launching and induction of the officers and members of the association at the La Concha Hyatt Hotel. Honorary Chairperson of the FDAP, Aimee Marcus, inducted the 43 designer members headed by Gaupo as president. It was envisioned by its founders that the FDAP be established as a means to uplift and professionalize the fashion industry and to provide a medium of exchange between designers and the public. The ultimate dream was to place the Philippines alongside Asia's more prominent destinations, thereby showcasing the distinctive Filipino temperament and style. This explains the ethnic pattern logo of the FDAP, designed by Chito Vihandre. Two major FDAP gala shows were presented in 1982. The first was a Philippine-inspired collection held at the Western Philippine Plaza and attended by Manila's well-heeled circles, led by then First Lady Imelda Marcos and Aimee Marcos. While the second, Muslim Summer 82, was a fashion forecast blending Southern Philippine culture with contemporary style. Both collections were well received by the local press and Manila's fashion set. In 1983, when Tony Kahukong became president, more designers joined the FDAP. Among them were Steve De Leon, Reese Chua, Johnny Abad, Bobby Novenario, Roland Rojas, and Boise Villavicencio. In 1984, it was Barge Ramos's turn to become president. To help FDAP members gain a foothold in the foreign market, Ramos signed a memorandum of agreement with the Foreign Buyers Association of the Philippines and the Textile Millers Association of the Philippines. A buyer's show was organized to test the viability of the triple tie-up. Unfortunately, the unstable economic conditions brought about by the Ninoy Aquino assassination prevailed. As a result, all FDAP projects were put on hold. The following year, despite the political and economic difficulties, Barge Ramos conceived and organized a major fashion event, Tag Sibol, a gala fundraiser to benefit children of political prisoners enabled both FDAP and freelance designers to showcase their creations. Lifted by the renewed enthusiasm of the FDAP, Ramos, as chairman of the board, conceptualized and initiated the groundwork for the first Body Shots, a model search competition that today remains a lasting legacy to the FDAP. Amid the political changes in the country, Boise Villavicencio was elected president in 1986. During his term, the Cebu designers were inducted into the FDAP. Also, a regional body shots competition was held in Zamboanga City, wherein Villavicencio and Ramos also inducted the Zamboanga designers as FDAP members. 1987 marked an exciting period of transition for the FDAP. With Oscar Peralta at the helm, there was rough sailing due to the streamlining of membership and the controversy behind the Body Shots contest. Winners were Michael Alfers and Ted Velasquez. But undaunted, the FDAP withstood all criticism and gossip as Oscar Peralta steered the association to a year of fun and camaraderie. FDAP's Lika Isang Diwa was a riotous assemblage of fashion personalities held at the former Rizal Theater. As the first woman elected president in 1988, Digna Rosales vowed to uplift the association to greater heights through the establishment of Fashion Connection Singapore with Mr. Alan Ko of Singapore's Society of Designing Arts. Among the FDAP's delegates who received accolades in showing off their fantastic collections were Steve De Leon for Couture, 
Bobby Novenario for Ready to Wear and Nardi Pressa for Avant Garde. Later, in 1989, Body Shots was restaged at the PICC with Jerry Gonzalo and Apple Spareto besting 30 other candidates for the top prize. The early 1990s marked a period of consolidation for the FDAP, starting with the re-election of Digna Rosales as president. Among her achievements during her second term was the spearheading of a joint project with the Garment and Textile Export Board and the Japan External Trade Organization. This resulted in the holding of Fashion Expo 90, a design contest sponsored by the Japanese government in Osaka. It was also in this period when the FDAP was able to produce a streak of winners in the ASEAN Young Designers Contest in Singapore, starting with Frederick Peralta in 1990, Peter Lim, Georgie Aguilar, and Grand Prize winner Ronald Mendoza in 1991, then ending with Vittorio Barba in 1992. The thrust towards more economic ventures was introduced when Lito Perez assumed the presidency in 1991. This period was highlighted by the establishment of the first commercial FDAP showroom at the Robinson's Galleria department store and the restaging of body shots in which Mon Piscasho and Anne Craig garnered the top prizes. By the time Bobby Novinario became president in 1993, FDAP's Body Shots model search competition had gained much public interest to have its first live telecast on May 14. Being directly from the PICC, James Pareja and Shinchin Estrada were declared top winners for that event. The next year, with Novenario still at the helm, the FDAP gala show was staged at the Philippine Trade and Training Center. Dubbed as a much-awaited fashion event of the year, the show proved to be a great success due in part to Novenario's skillful administration and the strong cooperation among FDAP members.